it's Audrey and I'm back with another photo editing video. I wanted to put something together because I get a lot of questions on my Instagram about how I brighten up some of the underexposed photos that I post on there, since I often share the before and after in my Instagram stories. Before I get into anything, you might want to watch my how I edit my Instagram photos video first for a bit of context, since I also edit a very particular way that fits my personal taste and style when it comes to photography. I'm going to show you from start to finish how I edited this photo, so let's get into it. So this is a photo that I've imported into Adobe Lightroom on my phone. My husband snapped this quick photo of me while we were watching the sunset on the beach one day. I'll pull the info down from the drop down menu at the top left corner so I can explain a few things that might help. As you can see, this photo was shot raw, which really helps keep the quality of the photo intact. There's a lot more data in a raw image versus a JPEG, but I have used the same editing techniques I'm about to show you on a JPEG image before, though there is a loss of quality that you should keep in mind. As for the camera I used, this was taken with a Canon 5D Mark IV, but I've been editing photos like this for a long time and have used the same technique with my Sony A6000, Canon Rebel T5, and even my Google Pixel phone. So you don't have to have a super expensive or advanced camera to do this either. Lastly, as far as settings go, it really depends on what my subject matter is and the lighting at that moment in time. But I usually try to keep the ISO as low as possible, the aperture very low as well because I want to be the focus, have that blurred out background, and let as much light into the photo as possible. The shutter speed again just depends on the situation. This was shot handheld and I'm actually walking forward a bit in this photo, so it's at the shutter speed that it is to reduce motion blur. Getting into the editing, the first thing I'm going to do is mess with the tone curve. I'm only going to touch the white channel and I like to make a point at each intersection so I can manipulate it into a slight S shape. I do this for all of my photos so they have a very similar feel to them and if you look at the before and after, I also think this brings a lot of those details back that you couldn't see before. Moving on to the effects panel, I also like to increase the clarity to bring out all the different textures. Everything from my skin, to my hair, to my clothes, to the background, has its own texture, so increasing the clarity helps to differentiate those things from one another. Switching over to the light panel, there are several things I do in here, like increasing the shadows and the black slider. Both of these will lift those dark areas without blowing out the bright areas of the photo, so I depend on these a lot when editing images like this. Another thing you can do is increase the exposure, which will brighten up the photo as a whole. And if you bring down the highlights a little, that will tone down just those bright areas so the highlights don't end up looking blown out. Now, I think this is brightened up enough for me, but I do see a darker shadow on my face that I want to fix. So I'm going to add a selective edit, pick the brush tool, and brush over the side of my face and a little over my hair. Then I'll increase the shadows and highlights so you can see that I'm just adding back those details into my face so it matches the rest of my body. And that is pretty much it editing wise. If I was going to post this on my Instagram, I'd probably mess with the temperature and colors a bit so it fits the color scheme I have and then crop and straighten it appropriately. Just going to show you the before and after. It's a pretty drastic difference, but of course you don't have to edit as intensely as I do. I hope you found these tips helpful for your own photo editing. Please let me know if you have any questions at all in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.